Hey everybody, I'm The Maple Man. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back to part 54 of my 26 Generations Sims 4 Gameplay Challenge. So we've been following this family for a while and in the last part, I was so excited to end it with Noah and his girlfriend becoming pregnant because that is the fourth generation in the works. Uh, we also saw a little bit of what Enrique's life is going to be once he leaves the family because we have decided that we are not going to continue to play him within the family. And uh, we did a couple things with Fiona, but um, not, not as much as I'd hoped. So or we, it didn't progress as much as I had hoped. So we are going to start with her for sure in this part. Um, I think that kind of brings you up to speed. I hope you're enjoying it up to this part. I'm getting really excited now that this family, the family dynamics are sort of in place, especially the dynamics we put <laughs> with Enrique in the last part. You can't say all my gameplays are 100% wholesome anymore. You cannot say that. <laughs> so thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or anything you'd like to say, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. I do read comments, and when I can, I do try to reply. So I think that's enough said for me. Peace and love, everybody. Let's play. So I didn't play too much ahead, but I wanted to try it one more time with the Spirit Elementals and if Fiona could get any further with H. Because really, why not? So they are having a moment, but I did notice in the playback of the last part that she could ask him to be her boyfriend. So I want to see if she does that, if that changes whether he can move in or what. So they're just having a moment, a little romantic moment. <laughs> Achievement, what would it be like? We got that last time. <laughs> I wanted to be more than just, you know, messing around with H. I want to see if we can do more. I think she can ask him to be her boyfriend. She is in a perfect space right now. She's confident, she's happy. Uh, apparently a little smelly now, but uh, that's fine. Okay, Fiona, wake up. Ask H to be, like, be your, bo be your boyfriend. Ask to be boyfriend. Let's see if this will work. I mean, you are allowed to ask normal ghosts to move in if you get their friendship way, way up, but, um, you know, maybe they have to... Oh, have a boyfriend or girlfriend, that's great. She hasn't gone on any dates, but uh, let's see if she can ask him to move in. No, it doesn't give us that choice. What about romance? Is there more that we could do here? Propose, can only marry ghosts in your household. Okay, so let's, um, let's profess our undying love. I saw that here somewhere. Let's do that. Even though she is kind of lying. <laughs> And she can, okay, she's professing her undying love to H, but let's get, uh, let's brighten his day, let's get the friendship like way, way, way up and see if he can move in. <laughs> if not, I have another plan. <laughs> um, ask about his day. See, I just don't know if the friendship will go up enough for him to want to move in. Fiona's reached level three of the charisma skill, great. Tell an outrageous story. Give him another heartfelt compliment. Oh, what are they, what was this? Okay, become partners in crime? No, that's what I want to happen with her and Diamond if we get there. Compliment his outfit. I love the green, I love the green. Share a secret, she does have a secret which she is going to. Oh, we gotta hurry up here if she's gonna do this. I don't think she's going to be able to ask him to move in. I don't think it's going to happen. But you know what? That's okay. What she's going to do before they leave, okay, we got to cut this stuff out so she can do it, is in behind the scenes, she got some rheumatic kelp. And she is going to eat the rheumatic kelp and become, oh, she has to run to the washroom, become a mermaid in front of H. Okay, so she did it. It was a little anticlimactic. Just made her have to go to the washroom. Oh, oh, oh. So she, you know, her evil self, she um, got much closer to H. Still can't ask him to move in though, which is 
Annoying, but that's okay. And she became a mermaid. We will show that off later. Oh my God, why is everything destroyed? Run to the washroom, girl. Okay, so yeah, the spirit and elementals left. She is boyfriends with H, which is in of itself something. Um, but I am going to zip ahead. Everyone else is asleep. Tomorrow is Monday. Uh, Jonah will probably be going to work. But um, yeah, I'm going to zip ahead and we're going to focus on some other things. But that was a great start to this part. That is what I've been wanting to do. And I don't need to focus on her running to the washroom. So I'm going to zip ahead. Okay, so Noah is really upset. He just started swearing. He's angry at pockets, shredded and torn from sitting on scratched furniture. So there is going to be a little bit of a part here where um, Noah and his brother are going to have a discussion over cats and dogs. And they might fight like cats and dogs. I don't know, but that'll move us into where Enrique needs to end up now. Uh, the family has 84,000, so I'm pretty sure that um, Enrique can move into his little, little house and everything is just needs repaired again. So I'm going to get Noah going on that and check to make sure Enrique, Enrique is fine. Enrique is fine. Felicia, we have working on the semi-important reports for her work. Jonah, I imagine, will be going to work soon. Oh, 21 hours. Okay, well, you know what? You can do some stuff around the house, too. It's falling apart. Falling apart, and why don't you, oh, Pocket's food dish is gone. Who would take the cat dish? I don't know why. <laughs> but here, we're gonna get everybody helping around the house, and then uh, once Noah's done repairing everything, we'll move on. And he's in the washroom repairing the bathtub while his sister is, sister, the new, well, she's not a mermaid yet, but she's gonna change into a mermaid, is taking a bath. Oh yeah, now you're shocked that she's, <laughs> she was in the bathtub. Okay, somebody has to, oh, are you going to clean that? Are you going to clean that? No, no, you're going to use it. Somebody's got to clean that soon. Anyway, he is going to, when he's done, talk to his brother. Uh, he is going to, they have a good relationship, but I think they're going to get into a bit of a fight here. Um... I just want to find it. And Fiona is cackling away. And he's going to enthuse about dogs. That's what he's going to do. He's going to enthuse about dogs because he is annoyed with the cat scratching up all the furniture, which we get. We get. Where are you here? Let's see how this goes over. I've never had a dog and a cat lover talk about things. And Enrique is just playing away on the computer. I think what we'll do is we will put the computer in... Enrique's inventory. Okay, Enrique was sort of like, yeah, I, I don't mind dogs. This really isn't starting a fight, but now I think Enrique should enthuse about cats while he's playing a video game. Don't worry, we'll get that computer going. Then we're going to move you out. Don't you worry. That is grab it. And Noah's like, he's okay with cats. He's like, he's listening. He's like, oh, that's why they scratch. I still don't like it, but I get it. So they didn't fight about it, uh, which is great. But it is time. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Fiona's going to be a little bad here. Relationships. Oh, yeah. H. Can she? Nah, she can't invite him over because he's a ghost. But you know what? She is going to be a little bad. It's 10 in the morning. She is going to... Um, She's going to not ask on a date. I don't think she can. She can ask Bentley on a date. Okay, so as much as she's boyfriends with H, her and Bentley are going to have a date. I think uh, she's going to play, uh, she's going to do her own evil thing now and then. And again, it's Jonah's on the computer with hearts above his head. I don't know what he's doing. We'll get to that at some point. So she's going to go on a date with Bentley like right now. Oh, it's winter. Oh, I forget that when they are... Uh, uh, give him a hip bump. When they are uh, in the uh, island living is Sulani, because it's always nice. Bentley is a good looking guy. Uh, so she's on a date with him. Give him a hug. But I'm not sure. He just seems so hyper, though. He's a perfectionist and he's unflirty. Oh, he didn't want a hug. Okay, well, strange. Who doesn't want a hug? You know what? Let's. Uh, 
He's unflirty, but give him a flirt. Give him a flirt. We got something to do here. And I'm not really going to pay attention to the date goals like a lot of the times I do. I just really want to get it to one point. <laughs> because remember, Fiona is evil. So that's what we're going to do. So as you can tell, they're flirting away, or I have Fiona flirting away with Bentley. And it's it's going well. I've loaded it up here, and I'm just going to keep loading it up. <laughs> Give him a secret. Like, get him into your confidence. We have a long-term plan with him. Oh, and the conversation has got has gotten uh, suggestive. She's like telling her secret. She's like, I have gone on dates with a spirit. I'm not sure I'd necessarily call them dates she's had with H. You know what I mean? Oh, but I kind of like you too, because your sister is um, pregnant with my brother's child. Oh, this is turning into like a soap opera. <gasps> Give him a first kiss. It might be too early, but oh, he's feeling romantic. Well, she laid it on thick. She laid it on thick. Oh, okay, okay. She's got the, her hooks into Bentley. He's no longer embarrassed. He's just flirty. So let's see if we can keep this going. Flirt. Oh, why did it stop? Keep going, kiss. <laughs> Oh my, okay, so they got past the first kiss. Now it's a bit more. <laughs> oh wow, he's like, I have handcuffs. Okay, Fiona. He may actually be more your type than uh, uh, H. There's still one trait she doesn't know about. She just became good friends with him, but we're not going to worry about the trait for right now. Woohoo in a bush. I think we're getting there. I, I'm happy with the way the date went. I'm actually going to end it early because um, something else has to happen first. So anyway, I'm going to leave these two here. I'm going to switch it over to Enrique and we're going to move him out of the household now. Okay, so Enrique, you're moving out. You're moving out. Let's do it. So I had a little trouble just moving... Um, Enrique to his new house. So I had to give him a temporary roommate, this guy Ezra, so he may show up now and then. Okay, I've been playing The Sims 4 for over two years and I still have trouble doing certain things. Oh well. I deleted about an hour of me trying to figure out how to move him into this house. Oh, apparently they're friends. Um, but I have kicked him out. So, and uh, there's already another cat here. This is Booger, or Booger, um, and uh, Pockets. So Pockets has a new friend. Enrique had a friend, but um, yeah, Ezra, you're kind of, kind of cool. You're just some random sim, some rando generated in create a sim, and you're not in the household. So I did get Enrique moved in. So while we're here, I'm going to get him to fill the bowls, fill all pet bowls. And um, yeah, he can settle in with Pockets and his newest family member, Booger. <laughs> okay, it is 1.30 Sunday afternoon. We're going back to the rest of the family now. It's always a little sad when we move the families along and characters start moving out and others start moving in. Little melancholy, but part of the game. It worked, so I am a little surprised, but not surprised. Oh, Noah seems happy. So I am gonna bring Fiona back. We're gonna finish what I started um, with her. Uh, I'm gonna see if she can invite, oh, Noah's flirty. Well, oh, your wife's peeing beside you. Why are you flirty? Not his wife, his baby mommy. Maybe they'll get married, just not yet. Fiona, let's see. Oh, your needs are still great. Why don't you see if you can call Bentley over? Wadi. 
Bentley will be right over. Okay, so let's, uh, unfortunately, where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, you know what? Bentley, let's uh, pick up line. Okay, where, where'd he go? Oh, he's sitting behind the greenhouse. Okay, so nobody's here. So let's see if Fiona can finish her little bit of evilness. <gasps> Try for a baby. That's what we want. Except not, I don't want her to go to her parents' bedroom or anything like she did one time. Okay, so since they are in the mood, Fiona will not let her brother show her up. She has gotten Felicia's brother in her mitts, in her claws. But she's like, hey, if my brother's gonna have a baby with somebody, I'm gonna have a baby with somebody. Maybe Fiona's a little competitive, but that's where it's going. And like, she does kind of like him, but okay, why? Why, where did Try For Baby go? Uh, asked to be boyfriend, Try For Baby. Uh, I don't know where they're gonna go, but uh, I tried getting you over to this room. Okay, he's into it. He's like, sure, sure, why not? Um, they're going in different directions, though. Where are they going to do this? <gasps> are they going? Oh, my God, she's so evil. They're going to Noah's bed. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> the first time she was with Hat, she went into Jonah and Argentina's bed. What is wrong with her? It's just wrong. Oh, no. That's just wrong. Even Bentley is like slowing down thinking it's wrong too. Okay, oh, that's a lovely, um, <laughs> lovely house jacket. Um, yeah, house gown. Okay, everybody is over here. That's good, that's great. We'll just leave them over here. I don't know where the ladies are. Oh, there's Argentina. I don't know where Felicia is. Where are you? You are, you're chatting with somebody. You must be down by the water. Okay, well, you're not tired, so that should be okay. Then I want to see, Felicia, is this toilet working? Yeah. You're going to have to go see if it took. Not Felicia, Fiona. I'm getting the names all wrong again, but I think you know who I'm talking about. And then Bentley can just hang out. Oh, yeah, and all the graves are here. Isn't that romantic? Okay. All right. Ooh, take a pregnancy test because you are. I wonder if I should have ma waited until she was a full-on mermaid. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But hopefully, hopefully, she ends up dating Hatch, having Bentley's baby, which will be half a mermaid, because she's going to be a mermaid. Right? Yeah, I think so. I think that's how it's going to work. <laughs> Let's see if she's eating for two. <gasps> she is. Oh, my God. This is, this is so wrong, but I love it. And Fiona's like, yep, yep. I just got a whole bunch of things on the go because I'm an evil mastermind and that's how it is. And she still needs to try to make Diamond Queen her uh, partner in crime. All right, let's tell Bentley. And this lady who's here. Okay, Bentley's happy, but you know, she probably just wants to be friends and roommates with him. <laughs> So, it's still early Sunday afternoon. I want, actually, uh, we did have Felicia working on the computer for her work. Um, her aspiration is being a friend of the world. Who is this lady? Could this lady be a friend? So, oh, share big news. Yeah, you big news. Both of two of the lady girls in the family are pregnant girls, women. Oh, and Bentley's taking care of the plants, which is excellent. You can just hang out for a little bit. You know, as much as I want Fiona with H, Bentley's, Bentley's pretty good. Okay. She's a teen, but that's okay. They're all young adults. They can have a friend who's a teen. But I think these two are going to go down to the beach. I want, oh, actually before, I want to check Jonah's inventory. He had a coconut. He had a coconut. Oh, hey, Bentley. Oh, I thought Noah blew a kiss to... Bentley, no, he blew a kiss to um, 
Felicia, which is which is right. Yes. Is this a coconut? Oh, I thought Jonah had a coconut. Oh, there it is. Okay, so one of Noah's, part of his aspiration is to eat a coconut. Let's just get this done. Eat the coconut. Oh, he doesn't like his brother-in-law. Oh, this is going to get so confusing. He's, he's uh, dating and going to be the father of the child of Felicia's child. Oh, he got the coconut. This is going to be like his brother-in-law. Oh, and they don't not like each other. They're both like, bleh. But I'm going to take these two to the beach. Okay, so we got the two of them at the beach. It is winter, so I'm not sure if Noah will get a suntan, but I'll get them in their swimwear. Noah getting a suntan is also part of his aspiration, so he's trying to get a start on that. There's another one that says have a guava party. Don't even know how to do that yet, but we'll get to it. And uh, they can just... Uh, where is it? There we go. Felicia. Oh, yeah. Felicia's feeling a little unwell. We have to see how far she is because I've done a few things, but I haven't zipped ahead too many on the days. So um, let's get... Some. Oh, there's two beach chairs right here. Here, Felicia, you just sit. Noah, can you get a tan? Sunbathe in swimwear. Swimwear. That should be what he what he has. Oh, Felicia does not want to sit down. She wants to go talk to uh, this guy. Okay, perhaps an old neighbor or a new neighbor or whatever. That's fine. She wants to be a friend of the world, so I'll let her go and chat with people. Um, I just want to see if... Okay, you're sunbathing. Can you get a tan? Maybe? Huh! That's funny. Okay, well... I'm just going to let them do their thing. <laughs> uh, I wonder if maybe I should bring Jonah here and he can go fishing. He's build a video gaming skill. Oh, <laughs> just play on the video games. I can bring Jonah here and get him fishing. Oh, he's building a sand sculpture. So he... Maybe it has to be summer to get a suntan. That's okay. There's no rush on that. Jonah, let's get you fishing. Your fishing skill is... So close to being level 10. So close. Let's find a fishing spot. There's one over here. You're not going to go in the boats today. You're just going to go way over here. Uh, fish with bait. Fish with a beta. Sure. Everybody seems to like this guy. Oh, what is she doing? What is she doing? Taking a nap. Okay, Noah, maybe you need to sun tan. Okay, you're, you're swimming. That's fine. Sunbathe in. It's too dark to sunbathe. Oh, that's why he wouldn't get um, a suntan. Well, that's okay. That's okay. This is, I think this is the waiter from uh, Sophie's Diner. Yeah, he's getting old. <laughs> okay, Jonah has started fishing. He's so close to reaching level 10. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I just leave Jonah here, let him fish away, and um, yeah, I'm going to play ahead till tomorrow, because I think there's still a bit of time, and the timing on this was very hard to tell, so I did play ahead till the next day, and the reason being the amount of time it took me to move Enrique out. I need to learn a better way of doing it. Fiona is a true child of the ocean. She's evil, but she's a true child of the oceans. And she had that mimetic kelp this morning and she, I took her swimming. I took her swimming and she is a mermaid now. She is child of the oceans, mermaid and pregnant. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to start here. We're just having her swim around. She's doing okay. Um, yeah, she does have the hydration thing here instead of uh, hygiene. So there goes our pregnant evil mermaid, Fiona. <laughs> and what trimester is she in? Uh, does it say eating for two? Oh, she's only in her first trimester, but we are waiting for Felicia to come home. Felicia, I guess over the last day or so has become uh, quite pregnant. I believe I checked last night as I was playing ahead and she was in the second trimester. So we do have a little bit of a plan for the rest of this part. Um, I don't know, I don't think we're gonna get to Felicia actually having her baby, but um, 
that will definitely be in the next part because we're almost there and Fiona may have her baby in the next part and I think I know what's going to happen with all of this but for right now we're going to go back home we'll send Felicia home too uh, not Felicia, Fiona Okay, and everybody's playing with the clay. Enrique came for a visit. It's great that Enrique came for a visit. It's been so long since we've seen him. <laughs> um, but I am going to just zip ahead because I'm just going to make sure everybody's needs are A-OK. -okay. I believe they are. Um, oh, except Noah, who's been practicing comedy for the past four or five hours. I think he can... Uh, whoop. How come I can't see anything? There we go. I think we'll send him to the washroom and we will just wait for Felicia to get home. Okay, so Felicia's about home. I just put a ton of food out. Uh, I'm going to, uh, hey, wake up you. <laughs> I'm going to invite a whole bunch of people to hang out. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a party for Felicia and Fiona. A bit of a baby shower. That's what we're going to do. And, oof, who are all these people? <laughs> We're going to invite Juan Carlo over. Um, ooh, not Oscar. No, that would not be good. Uh, and Comb, the uncles are coming over. Enrique's already there, I think. Um, and we'll see who else. Like, Fiona, who are your friends to invite over? Oh, Felicia's home. Um, invite to hang out. Um, uh, Bentley, for sure, because he's uh, the daddy. London, yeah, absolutely. She was the babysitter for a long time. Um... Combs already invited through Argentina. Okay, and Felicia, um, how are you doing? Oh, you're low on fun. That's fine. You're going to invite your family to hang over. To hang out. The hangover comes later. And not for the pregnant girls. That would be wrong. That would be wrong. Um, oh yeah, this girl, Bentley's already coming over. But you do have, like, a mom, I think. <laughs> um... Yeah, Kaylee is part of your family, too. Um, oh, she can't come over. Okay, I was hoping that we'd uh, find out who she is. And what I put out here is a blue and a pink cake, because we don't know if they're going to have baby boys or baby girls, and just all the food that was in the fridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Argentina just sort of call everyone to meal. And Fiona, since she's here, she can call everyone to meal on the blue cake. And hopefully... This house is not that great for people coming over. They tend to hang out by this bridge. Like, there's Colm. There's Colm. He, I'm so happy he's not an elder yet. <laughs> but Colm, okay, you're going to sing a song on a bridge. Why are you the only one who's shown up? Oh, yeah, you're looking older. Can Argentina call him over? Call over. Too far. And I don't know where everybody else is. When we invite people over, they don't come over. They'd rather go and hang out at the beach. <laughs> well, this is the baby shower for them. Um, yeah, it'd be nice if Bentley could come over. <laughs> okay, so the whole family's having cake. Um, Felicia can now take family leave. Felicia is... Oh, yeah, give birth in question mark. I don't think it's going to happen in the next few minutes or so. But... Uh, oh, he is always flirty with Felicia. Always flirty. Okay. Um, how can we get Colm and them to come over? Okay. You know what? Oh, there they all are. Jonah's going to go and get them. Okay, so we have three people that have come over. We're just going to get them to come to the house, and then they can have some cake. Oh, I wish Juan Carlo had come over. He's probably down in the water. There's Jonah. So he's going to, like, introduce himself to everybody. Oh, there's some more people. How come he doesn't know anybody? This is so weird. Okay, so he's talking to everybody. He's saying, guys, the party is upstairs. Okay, so he's got them all in a group. Let's get them all to get it over to the party. Here. Go here together. Uh, where Noah is. <laughs> oh my god, Felicia is so pregnant. Okay, Jonah did the dad thing and got everybody to come. There's still cake. There's still tons of food. Everybody just help yourself. It's a party. It's 9.15 on a Monday. That's okay. Felicia's off now for a few days from her business career. 
Noah is going to start, really start his comedy career in the next part, and I will explain that as well. Oh, they're all happy that, to see their mom. Okay. Their mom. I'm really getting confused with the relationships. Juan Carlo and Colm were really excited to see Argentina, their sister. Okay. Oh, my God. They're looking older. You aren't an elder, are you? No, but you're getting there. <laughs> okay. Well, um, how about we call them to meal? Call to meal. Call to meal. Everybody can have some cake. Um, yeah, and everybody's getting fat, except Jonah. Jonah's the only one who's not getting fat, but everybody... Okay, I realize two of them are pregnant, but everybody's gaining a bit of weight, and they should... Um, we're going to have to hit the gym. I think babies, gym, and comedy clubs are the next part. Oh, okay, everybody's grabbing some food. Oh, Juan Carlo. Oh, I wish Enrique was still here to put them side by side. <laughs> <laughs> but the boys are definitely looking like Paulo a lot That's now. Bad. It's kind of sad only seeing them now and then because from far away they look the same, but you get up close and it's like, oh, they're getting older. Oh, Felicia's meeting Uncle Colm. That's great. And then, oh, Bentley, Bentley showed up. Bentley. <laughs> yeah, where's my uh, evil mermaid girlfriend who's having my baby? <laughs> anyway, I... Oh, these two. Oh, hey. <laughs> all right. I think I am. Argentina's just like, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I cooked all day. I'm done. And oh, yeah. Argentina reached cooking level 10 in this part. It was off screen, but um, fantastic. So I think I'm going to end this part here. Uh, I just want to have a bit of a baby shower, have a lot of the family, some of the new friends, some of the old friends over. Uh, London, who's always at these things, didn't show up, um, but that's okay. So I can't wait till next part. I think next part is going to be a lot of fun. Not that this part wasn't. Uh, this part did a lot of things that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and it's just continuing on. The fourth generation will start in the next part, and I'm so excited. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Till the next time, peace and love.